EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From the Pacific Northwest and Bandon Dunes Golf Resort, live second round coverage of the Oregon Championship. But if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. She's got a commanding lead on the rest of the field as she has been sensational so far. That one looking good. It's in the fairway here to start round two. So after the big drive, this a short approach to the par four. Want them all to go right into the hole. On well, now to the second here at Bandon Dunes, a long par three coming in at 220 yards, and it is every bit of those 220 as well, as it can play up to 30 feet uphill depending on the tee box. Fortunately, shots that run long do have a tendency to funnel back down. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. A birdie opportunity at two, and Nota Begay is down there. And this is a putt players love to see uphill, slightly right to left. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And she'll move now to 17 under. On to our first par five of the round, the 563-yard third hole. Bunkers dot the fairway on each side, and they're penal. But if you can avoid those, you'll find a wide, receptive green that will yield its share of threes and fours. Just what you want at this point in the round, you're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Oh, what a good shot that is. Home and two on the far five. Remember made eagle earlier in the round, Frank? That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Oh, man, the putter is working. Now that is back-to-back -back eagles, a rarity in the world of golf. Up next, we come to the par four fourth hole, which measures out at 443 yards. Beware that the rough is thick if you miss your butt. A well-placed drive rewards you with our first real look at the Pacific as you'll see that big expanse of blue and start to hear the crashing waves below. Well, what a feel. Eagle on the previous hole, just swinging easy and just stripes another one. You playing with else money? So after the big drive, this, a short approach to the par four. I mean, just unable to do anything wrong right now. Another terrific shot. Not much to that. It is a birdie here at four. 
and she'll move to an even 20 under par. We turn northward along the beach here at the 445 yard par 4 fifth. Like the previous hole, the landing area is a narrow one and it doesn't get much easier from there. The green's protected by a big bunker on the right and be careful because those onshore breezes like to push the ball that way. This round's been a clinic so far, and it's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. Yes, 120 yards left to the flag stick. Pin tucked in the front left-hand portion of the green today. It's not too bad. Good shot uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Bertie. Just going to sneak on by. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. We continue our turn northward along the bluffs as we come to the par 3 sixth. It's another stout one at 217 yards. Most golfers will be happy to play toward the right center part of this large green and stay away from the trouble, including the cliff on the left. Yeah, that's a good spot to be on the front portion of the green with a birdie putt coming up. This will be a 14-foot putt here. Mm, good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And she's going to stay at 20 under. We head away from the coast now due east as we come to the par 47. A big wide fairway should make the tee shot manageable. But from there, this three-tiered clover-shaped green provides a lot of opportunities for three putts if that approach wedge is not dialed in. And all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. It's 37 yards to the hole. was asking for it to go and it listened. That is a really good shot. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And her score is gonna stay right where it is. The eighth hole is a par four at 385 yards. This one, Similar in a lot of ways to the third hole, the bigger hitters can easily clear those two fairway bunkers and, in theory, leave just a little pitch on for their second. This starting up the right side. Hey, the rhythm is definitely there to get another wonderful tee shot. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Okay, not a bad lead. That's a good shot. Chance now for another birdie. Nice, 
Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And she'll move it to 21 under for the tournament. On now to the finishing hole here on Bandon Dunes front side, the par five ninth. It's the longest on the course, measuring out at 585 yards. You'll find a handful of pot bunkers in the inopportune spots along the way. But if you can navigate your way around them, you just might wind up with a birdie putt. This round's been a clinic so far, and that's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. Well, well, I'm used to birdie feasts, but eagle feasts? I didn't think you could do that. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Easy as can be. It's a tap-in birdie here at the ninth. And that'll wrap up a front side that was absolutely a thing of beauty. How about eight under 28? We begin the back nine here at Bandon Dunes with a par four measuring out at the 380 yards. It's yet another hole where that blue ocean catches your eye in the distance beyond. This hole, fairly straightforward, but big hitters should take note of that pot bunker that sits about 30 yards short of the green. And coming off the two straight birdies, this will be a little tougher as the tee shot is into the bunker. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. third consecutive birdie and she'll move to 23 under par onto the 11th now a par four at 452 yards best to keep it down the middle or to the right off the tee that leads to an uphill second where you'll most likely have to take it right over that bunker that guards the front right portion of the green Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Well, this could be good. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So, birdie chance. Now this for another birdie. Now, everything going right now. That a fourth consecutive birdie. And her score will move to 24 under par. And they make their par threes long here at Bandon Dunes. This one, the 12th, measures out at 238 yards. This one at least is slightly downhill. Areas of concern include that pot bunker short and left, and then the thicker stuff that comes into play if you knock it over the back. Okay, just outside of 10 feet and a birdie chance here at number 12. 12 feet still to go. Oh, 
There's another one. It's five birdies in a row. And she'll move to 25 under now. The rolling hills of Oregon provide the backdrop to this par 5 13 hole. At 553 yards, it is reachable in two. Big dunes in the fairway could make the stance awkward for that second shot. But a big green that measures better than 50 yards head to toe does yield a good number of eagle putts. This starting toward the right side. Tell you what, the game's just coming easy right about now. Five straight birdies on the card and another beautiful tee shot here. Now, from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. It is one of the more satisfying shots in golf, isn't it? Down wind to a par five the second, and you knock it on. Chance for eagle. Certainly shortens up the par five, that wind at your back, Rich, but you can just surf the wind. Just let that ball carry and just sail towards the green. Chance now for another birdie. I mean, this is just becoming too easy now. That a sixth consecutive birdie. And that will move her to 26 under par. On to a tough one now. The par 4 14th listed at 390 yards. Pod bunkers are the worry here. There are five of them to contend with all told. And none are easy outs. The green is a narrow one as well, with a good amount of tilt from back to front. And that one not quite able to hang on. It's into the bunker. That was a great shot. That was tricky. Here we go. Seven footer for birdie. Wow, just a pair of target. Those are the ones that are driving you crazy. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And she'll remain at 26 under. On now to the final par three on the course, the 15th, listed at 206 yards. Don't be lulled to sleep by the sound of crashing waves and seagulls. This hole can bite you, especially if you don't avoid that front right bunker, the deepest on the course. That's going to be on the putting surface, and the birdie looks straight ahead. Solid par here at the 15th. And her score is going to stay right where it is. 
may be the prettiest hole on the golf course, this par 416. A plethora of options off the tee. Most end up deciding to see just how close to the green they can get it. Beware, though, of the ever-present Bend and Dunes pot bunkers, as well as some pretty thick gorse off to the right. for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Terrific golf shot, and now that for an easy birdie. Well played there, a birdie here at 16. And she'll move now to 27 under par for the tournament. A lot of these holes here at Bandon Dunes have big, wide landing areas. That is not the case here at the par 417. You'll need to thread the needle here with bunkers on either side, thick rough on the left and a canyon to the right, but a safe drive in the fairway can yield a pretty good look at your second. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. Now this for another birdie. And this is one where you just gotta keep the hand steady and the wrist quiet, making sure you get it started online. Yes, and good playing here toward the end of the round. Birdies at 16 and 17. That'll take her now to 28 under par. On to the home hole to wrap up the round here at Bandon Dunes. And after battling to get here, isn't it nice to have a birdie hole to take you to the clubhouse? That's what we have with this 558 yard par five. Simply avoid the bunkers off the tee and you should have a good chance to reach this green in two. That got a fortunate bounce. That'll oh, be just fine. Got every bit of that to it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Come on, another eagle on the round. And that will mean that this is a round of, get this, 56. So will this be the week that our featured golfer claims that first ever title? Frank, it's looking promising through 36 holes. It is, and to just make that final leap to become a winner on the PGA Tour. Well, that's what's in front. It seems simple, but the last bit is the most difficult. So that should just about do it. For all of us at EA Sports, thanks for spending some time with us. On the road to the Masters.